Good morning, everybody. Y'all know what a sister out here doing. But I'm gonna get straight to the point because I don't have a lot of time. And I'm guessing until I can get my intro going, I might end up doing a lot of just strictly straight videos with the YouTube. So that way I don't get no copyrights. So this video is gonna be about pretty much deal with your problems head on because a lot of people can tend to want to run from their problems or they try to mask their problems with things such as substances like drugs, alcohol, or sex, or, or just not dealing with whatever issues that people got going on. Now there's like countless issues that people deal with to where it's like they don't never really deal with their problems. It could be things from like financial hardship. It could be things from relationship issues. It can be things from self-improvement issues. It can be things from just tr past traumas. It's just so much stuff that everybody gets bombarded with when it comes to dealing with problems. And it's like every video that I make, it comes from a real place, man. It comes from a real place. The reason why I'm doing like this because it comes from the heart. And I can relate because if I'm making a video, either I'm dealing with it, I dealt with it, or I got know somebody dealing with it. So I got experience to be able to bring this topic to you. And it's like, like a lot of my peeps that I know, especially back home in Baltimore, man, there's a lot of people that mask their problems with drugs or alcohol. Like I know a lot of alcoholics, a lot of drug addicts that just, you know, they run from the problem instead of dealing with it head on. But when I look back on my, my past or whatever, I never use drugs. I've never used no substance. Uh, I don't drink. I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't do drugs. I don't do anything. And I've had a lot of issues that most people would have been cracked out or they would have been just some type of alcoholic or whatever by now. But I know that I come this far because I just dealt with my stuff head on. Like I just dealt with it. Like whatever issue that I had, and my dad always taught me this. He always said, instead of using your energy backwards by boohooing about it, complaining about it, why don't you use every ounce of your energy going forward? And when I say use every ounce of your energy going forward, use every ounce of your energy to figure out how you're going to fix the problem. So instead of boohooing and complaining, try to put a plan together in your mind on how you're going to get through this hardship you in. You smart enough to do it. Everybody has what's called a brain, right? This piece, this whole crown right here, this piece right here is your weapon towards life. But you gotta use it. You gotta use it. It's not illegal to think yet. It's not illegal to have a mind and be a free thinker and think yet. Think, guys, think. God gave you a brain for a reason. A lot of people are not using their minds. And when you're tainting it with substances, you're not in your full capability to be able to fight your problems head on. So let's just say, you know, you got financial hardship, and especially if you're young. Take advantage of your youth while you still got a lot of time to build your life up and go to school. You know, get some type of degree, get some type of trade, get some type of license to where you valuable to the workforce and you can have, you know, a great resume or something to where you can be able to make money to get eventually get yourself out of issues. Have it to where, you know, you got transportation because obviously the more you got transportation, the more you can be, you know, easier to go back and forth to opportunities or just, just everything is the state of mind. Everything is the state of mind. I got to narrow this video down to 10 minutes because hopefully my manager should be pulling up anytime. But have, have a vision, have a vision, have a plan. Cause the more you can have a solid plan, it's like a roadmap. So that way you can know what you need to do because you cannot know what you need to do if you don't have it mapped out on how to get there. That's just like truck drives with, you know, we have to do trip planning. If we didn't have a GPS or an Atlas map, we would have no clue where to go because we don't have a map that's laying out, hey, you need to make a right here, you need to make a left here, go straight, and your destination is right there. That's the same thing with hand handling problems. First of all, you have to identify. That is the first step in dealing with your problems. Once you can admit and identify what your problem is, that is the first step to dealing with your problems head on. 
once you identify what your problem is, now you can start putting together a roadmap and a plan to try to get through the problem. That's step two, it's planning. Once you put through the plan on how to deal with your problems, now it's time to act on it. Now acting on it, I feel like it's the hardest part of dealing with your problems head on. Cause, and I'll, I'm guilty for it too sometimes, to where you can start procrastinating, you can start second guessing yourself, you might got some no good people in your way that can kind of get in the middle of you making progress so if you got somebody in your life and they're not adding to your life meaning like they're not building you up or everything they seem to bring and your path tears you down you need to scratch them suckers you need to scratch them suckers get them out of your life because if they're not adding to your life then obviously they're taking away me and they're tearing you down and we about trying to build up and not trying to tear down so like i said you need to identify put a plan together go in action that's simple, ain't it? But it's not as simple as it looks because like I said, if it ain't from self-doubt, if it's not from procrastination, oh, I don't feel like it today, I won't do it today, I'll do it tomorrow. Then when tomorrow comes, oh, no, nah, I won't do it this day, I'll do it the next day. No, nah, I might do it next week. Matter of fact, no, nah, I'm gonna do this next year. Hey, how you know if you got next year? With this coronavirus and everything going on, nobody know if they got the next freaking day with all this stuff going on. And everybody right now has to face problems head on because obviously we got a national epidemic to where this issue is everybody's problem. So we all have to deal with this particular problem head on because if not, we gonna fall all together. Instead of being alone together, we gonna fall together. If people that is kind of weak-minded don't you know, boss up and learn to deal with issues head on. So I really feel like that any problem that comes your way that's an opportunity to get strong mentally. That's why a lot of you guys might think I work super hard and all this stuff, and I do work hard, but I find it as an opportunity to get mental strength, to get physical strength, because if I can handle a job as tough as the ones I be doing, then I can do anything, man. Like I love, I love challenging myself. I love challenging myself mentally. I love challenging myself physically, because when stuff hit the fan and I need to dig into those memories or dig into those experiences I had, I'm able to dig back into what I've been through to be able to keep going through what I'm going to go through. So everything is just about being smart about what you do in life because everything is, what is, what's the word I'm looking for? Everything is like a ripple effect. That's what I'm looking for. Everything is a ripple effect. So every single decision you make in your life, whether it's big or small, eventually is going to lead to where you're going to have an action. Where there's an opposite reaction, there, what is it? It's a scientific saying, where there's an action, there's an opposite reaction. So you might not see what the result's gonna be of a decision you made right now, but over time, that stuff start adding up to where you're gonna start getting some results, and it's either gonna be bad results or it's gonna be good results, and you won't be able to be mad at nobody but yourself because you did it to yourself, whether it's good or bad. So you have to start planting them good seeds and you have to start knowing your self-worth. And like I said, identify. Don't be afraid to admit to your faults or flaws. That's another thing. Nobody wants to admit when they have a problem. Nobody wants to admit when they have a flaw. But nobody's, nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody. Everybody got something that they battling. Everybody got something that they just going through on the inside. But they, ain't, of course, they ain't going to be the one to try to bring it up. And of course, they probably won't even be the ones to just admit they have it to themselves. But until you can get to that first step, you can't do nothing else and you're gonna always be stuck. You're gonna always be running. You're gonna always be blaming somebody for what you're going through when it starts with you. Ain't nobody fault but yours because at the end of the day, you're not a kid no more. You know, you're grown. So you have to deal with your problems head on instead of blaming other mofos for something that is your life, your decision. You're in control of you now. Nobody can hurt you unless you let them. Nobody can hurt you unless you let them. So you need to take back control of your life and stop making excuses and stop running and live the best life that you possibly could have left on this crazy earth we call Mother Earth or whatever. So, all right, guys, let me get in here. Hopefully this manager will be on time. But matter of fact, this manager late. Let me get up off here and get in touch with my dispatch. Cause this is wild. This don't make no freaking sense, man. These managers are supposed to be here and these suckers be late, it's all outside. Be late, make no dang sense, dog. Fucking late managers. Well, all right, man, y'all have a lovely day. 
deal with your problems head on. That's how you can start to live life to your fullest. That's how I got as far as I got. And I'm gonna continue getting far because I handle my stuff with a sober mind. Everything gotta be sober minded, guys. All right, y'all. Deuces.